the overall location that the Polar Peak monster will destroy for Season 10 has pretty much been fully revealed. That is what we have the answer for here today based off of various map changes, leaks, and of course, going inside the brand new silo at the pressure plant. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. This is going to be sort of an update news video a little bit, a bit of a video on the Fortnite story that is happening in Season 9 leading up to Season 10, which is just around the corner. And yeah, again, we're going to be covering like what the monster from Polar Peak is going to ultimately target what is going to change on the map for season 10 and i think we have the answer here in this video and don't worry guys it's not neo tilted i don't know why everybody says neo tilted but we'll talk about why that's super unlikely so be sure to watch until the end guys because every single one of these things helps us take a look at this and we even get to go inside of the uh silo again and take a look at that so if you do enjoy it hit that like button down below hit that subscribe button for more fun videos like this and let's go ahead and jump into it here so starting it off here let's go over uh a newly changed location thing that Donald Mustard put up. As you guys probably know, if you've been following the Season 9 story, Donald Mustard has been going crazy with changing his location to things that reference what is happening in-game, and a lot of them have had to do with the uh, monster, the Polar Peak monster, like there's uh, any other one. <laughs> but he did just recently change his location again, I think today. I'm not 100% sure if this one has to do with the story, but either way, going over the previous ones here gives us a good reminder of like the time frame and what is happening with the story. So as a reminder, guys i think it started out first of all on around may 28th he put up the eye that was what he had in his uh, location and obviously that was referencing the eye that was inside of polar peak then after that it went to roaming on june 6th or around june 6th and that was i believe after the monster had escaped and gone into the water and then on around june 12th he changed it to circling which obviously referenced when we were starting to see the monster move around the map then it went to hungry on june 15th i think that was around the time he maybe destroyed the snobby shores building and then it moved on to zeroing in around June 22nd and then preparing on June 25th a few days ago. It also recently updated to beach on June 27th, but that is likely having to do with 14 days of summer. And just now, very recently, it got updated to whoa, which again, I'm not 100% sure if this has to do with the story. It could be 50-50 whether it has to do with the 14 days of summer event or the monster itself, but he could be saying whoa, like as if the monster is going to be doing something crazy or it could be in reference to the event but either way i wanted to bring that up because the things that are before that all the way from roaming circling to preparing we're getting close to what the monster is going to destroy next and again i think i figured it out here so before we get into like the big clue of where this monster and i don't even think the monster is going to be the only thing that is going to be destroying part of the map i'm pretty sure it's actually going to be something else with the monster if that makes sense and i'll explain more of that later on in the video towards the end but yeah this next clue is one that you probably know but it leads us into the other important clue so it sets up for that stuff but basically it's taking a look at all of the things that the monster has destroyed before technically he destroyed polar peak when he broke out of it and walked towards the ocean but the more important ones are obviously then he destroyed that house over at snobby shores and more recently he destroyed a house over at pleasant park and loot lake oh and also guys before we jump into the location that's going to be destroyed comment down below right now which location or area you think it is and let's see who is right now again i do want to say that i do not think neo tilted is the the location that is going to get destroyed that's what a lot of people have been thinking but it's just yeah, i don't think that's true i don't think that's very likely considering that neo tilted literally just arrived i doubt they would destroy all of that hard work they put into designing these new buildings this new look for neo tilted they wouldn't just throw that away after like two months at least that's what would make the most sense and also i mean would they really destroy tilted twice i don't think so but instead take a look at how all of these locations for the most part are sort of moving towards the north northwest section of the map you've got pleasant park and loot lake and also snobby shores which isn't very north but it's more so on that west side it seems that the monster for some reason has been sticking around this section of the map and that's not a coincidence i'm pretty sure he could go anywhere on the map why isn't he going to the desert we've even seen him over near lucky landing specifically but he hasn't destroyed any buildings over there that's definitely something to take note of especially when we get into it here with this next clue which is simply like a logical clue it's not exactly something that epic games hid on the map it's just something that when you take a look at it makes the most sense so basically guys this clue comes from the map itself and every single change we've had over the past like entirety of fortnite and what do i mean by that well basically take a look at the map right here and let's go through the changes that have happened the uh, bigger changes that have happened at the beginning of each season and stuff and like first of all i think the beginning like big change that happened to the map was when dusty divot became well dusty divot it used to be dusty depot then the meteor 
hit and it became Dusty Divot. That was like the first big map change and we were all hyped for that. Then after that they made an even bigger change with the desert biome being added. I don't remember what exact season that was but basically it replaced Moisty Mire and all of that stuff. After that we then had the iceberg biome take over the other corner of the map to the left of it, the southwest corner, and that took up a crazy amount. Practically changed again that entire corner which was massive. And then you keep it going here you had the jungle biome show up with the previous seasons with the volcano and stuff like that. And that took over another corner, another humongous corner changed. We lost locations like Wailing Woods, which was such a important location. Also, um, what is it? Risky Reels. That was a fan favorite. That location got completely replaced. And then with this most recent season in season nine, we've had some smaller changes, but they've sort of affected more so Tilted Towers and Mega Mall, which are some spaces that weren't really changed during the rest of the season. So going over all of those changes, guys, they have pretty much changed this entire section of the map right here, which leaves one section unchanged. And that section, guys, is the top left section of the map. This part of the map has pretty much not been changed for the entirety of the game. It's almost stayed exactly the same. I'm pretty sure Junk Junction has been around like forever. There's been some small changes here and there, like with buildings being added. Also, Haunted Hills was added. We also technically had that um, castle type thing added on top of that one hill, but nothing crazy, all right? Nothing as crazy as um, the desert biome, the iceberg biome, the jungle biome. So I think it's very likely from like a planning the story standpoint that this would be next and coupling that with this next clue which I'm going to go over here in just a second but also adding it to the fact that the monster has been over at that side of the map quite a bit I think it's very likely that this is the location that's going to get destroyed or changed up in some way but moving on to this next part I wanted to talk to we also have to ask the question of how is this portion of the map going to get changed or destroyed and I talked about that a little bit earlier and then we also have this other clue to go into and actually I just noticed we're in the wrong game mode. All right, quick switch. All right, here we are. You need to go into creative for this because we need to take a look inside of the pressure plant. And to do that, you simply go into creative. I've seen some people like try to glitch across. Um, you don't need to do that. You simply need to go like into one of these teleporter things. And then as you can see, it teleports you to the island and the thing covering the silo, whatever you want to call it, the uh, cover is not there in creative. For whatever reason, probably because of a glitch, it's not there. But it's awesome because we can then take a look inside of here early and take a look at some clues and things that are well inside of here like the first of which I don't exactly know if this is a connection but I still wanted to bring it up in case it is and also get your guys's opinion on it may just be a coincidence so keep that in mind but these letters on the side of the inside of this uh, whole thing take a look at how it says b1 b2 b3 now that could just be referencing like the different levels of inside of here however it could also be referencing on the map because if you take a look at the map and like the location with b up here and then you have the numbers on the side that that location also covers that northwest portion of the map, which is a prime location to get replaced in the very next season. So again, that could just be a coincidence. I don't exactly know at the moment, or it could mean something big. It's also very odd that it just starts with B. Like, why not A? Why is it specifically B? So maybe that's another clue. But on top of that, guys, something else I noticed that is pretty interesting is um, these things over here. If you take a look at them, like this right here on the wall, and then there's like a bigger one of those right over here, and then there's a bunch of them all around. Basically, what this looks like to me is like an elevator type thing. Like, you know, you'd have a gear rolling up and down these things, rising up a platform or, you know, lowering it, how this thing could open. And then, you know, it could be hiding something that's going to be added here soon, maybe. And there's a bunch of different theories about that to talk about. I think we'll save a little bit of it for maybe another video. But one of the things is a rocket. That's an idea that's been going around. I don't exactly know if that's true since we've already technically had a rocket. But if there is another, it could, you know, fly over and maybe hit the monster around this area if the monster suddenly shows up and is like rampaging through this entire area over here. And then that rocket, you know, could explode a big portion of this area and cause it to look like all desolate and demolished, maybe similar to how Tilted Towers was destroyed by the uh, flying rocks from the volcano. I definitely do think that's a possibility. And that also leads me into the final thing I want to talk about in this video, which is actually a leak. Fort Tori had put up an image of a file that he was able to find inside of the 
well, files. And basically, it is a countdown for the Caddis type stuff. And it simply says day, hours, minutes, and seconds, which is very similar to things that we've had in the past with timers and countdown. But that could go hand in hand with a rocket countdown. And I think we had a similar countdown for the first rocket that launched around the time that Dusty Divot had happened and things like that. So all of that together could lead to that section of the map being destroyed, a rocket maybe firing outside of the pressure plant, and then this timer correlating between those and that area, you know, becoming the new area for season 10 that gets completely revamped. So yeah, guys, that's just an idea at the moment, but I think there's a ton of things pointing towards it. So let me know what you think of that down below in the comments if you have things to add. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos covering the season 9 and 10 story, as well as check out some of my previous videos here, such as on the left, my week 8 challenges guide. And then on the right, my previous video going over how the Zapotron could possibly be returning. That's a fun theory, so be sure to check that one out. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will see you in the next one.